Hi there. My name's Aaron Langerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. While I was looking for schematics for the EMT250 Reverb, I incidentally came across a compressor called the EMT261. I hadn't heard of it before, so I had to go looking for schematics. The schematics start with a convenient block diagram. Taking a look at the actual schematic in detail, we see that there are input and output transformers. And interestingly, the output transformer is driven by two different push-pull output stages. So both sides of the transformer are driven by a push-pull output stage. I don't think I've seen that before. Now it can act as an expander or a compressor limiter. And the sidechain circuitry for the expander and the compressor limiter modes are given on another page. Notice the expander operates in a feed forward mode. So the input of the expander sidechain is taken from the overall input, whereas the input for the compressor limiter stage is taken from the output of the variable gain stage. Typical for a lot of compressors, Exceptions include things like the DBX compressors that take the sidechain input from the main audio input. So let's see, here we have the sidechain for the compressor limiter. Here we have the sidechain for the expander. And there's a lot of complicated stuff going on here. There's probably a lot of log and anti-log kind of operations. And notice each sidechain uses a CA3096. The 3096 is a matched transistor array with five transistors. Well, I should say there's varying degrees of matching. But what most caught my eye was the use of an MC1495 as the gain control element. That's a four quadrant multiplier that's commonly used in ring modulator circuits. The voltage control amplifiers like the 2180 and 2181 by that corporation and operational transconductance amplifiers like the LM13700 are all two quadrant multipliers. I do vaguely recall seeing an early article in Electronotes where a 1496 or similar chip was used in a voltage controlled filter, but that kind of approach was quickly abandoned in favor of operational transconductance amplifiers. As an aside, there is a four quadrant multiplier chip that's of much higher quality than the 1496. It's called the AD633 by Analog Devices. Unfortunately, it's very expensive. So, do you know about another compressor that uses a four quadrant multiplier like the 1496? Or for that matter, any other really strange compressor that you think I should take a look at? If so, leave a comment below.